when your gas chromograph shows a thermal shutdown on fat or something like this on your screen, you might have been searching thousand times trying to figure out how to troubleshoot your inlet or detector heater sensor, but hardly find anything available. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in just 10 minutes. Let's start right away. Hi there, if you're first time to my channel, my name is Peter Tron. If you want to learn more about different custom calculations using intelligent reporting or gas chromograph troubleshoot things and operating skills start now by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything so let's first start with the tools that we need we need to have a simple multimeter like this and make sure that you switch your multimeter to a resistant mode with the omega symbol here and then touch the two measuring pin together make sure that you get zero ohm on top here second tool that we need is a t20 top the heater cable for the inlet are sitting underneath this cover, so you need to make sure you remove this screw to remove, to take it out. Then we look something like this. This is the back heater sensor cable. This is the front heater cable sensor. If you notice, you will have two thicker wires and two thinner wires. The thicker ones are coming from the heater and the thinner ones are coming from the sensor, which I will show you a closer look in a second. So if you open, if you unplug this uh, connector, it will look something like this. You have four pins two for the heater and two for the sensor. For the detector heater cable, it will be on the right side of the GC. Once you remove the cover, you should be able to see uh, the front uh, heater cable, the front detector heater cable here, the back detector heater cable, heater sensor cable here. Okay, if you unplug one of these, it will look exactly the same as the one on the inlet. Okay, so if you happen to have a new heater sensor cable or if you happen to remove the one from the inlet or detector, it will look something like this. You have the heater and you have a sensor and four wires and all, all four wires will come all the way into the, heat, the, the cable, the connector over here. Okay, for, for the heater, it will, look, it will be a slightly bigger over here compared to the sensor. But the more important thing you need to, you need to look at is the thicker wires will come from the, the heater and the thinner wires will come from the sensor over here. The reason is very simple that the heater will need to carry a lot more electricity. Okay, so let's start the measurement right now. Alright, so let's start with the heater, uh, the heaters first. Okay, remember the heater will come from the, the thicker wires, so you, you place your uh, measurement pins on the two thicker uh, pins over here and as, uh, as the Asian designs their GC the power consumption is about 70 watts then the voltage that applied to the heater is about 40 volts so that basically means the current is about 70 watt divided by 40 volts you get 1.75 amperes right the resistance is the 40 volts divided by 1.7 amperes you get 22.8 ohm okay but you want to have like a range so that you want you don't want to get exactly this number. So as a rule of thumb, I usually look for the number from 20 to 25 ohms. So if you you do your measurement, you get about 20 to 22 to 25 ohms. You know that your uh, heater is doing okay. Okay. So let's move on to our next step to confirm our uh, heat uh, sensor. Okay. For either the inlet or the detector, agents use uses PT100 as a sensor. Okay, so what does it mean by PT100? It's a type of sensor where you have 100 ohms at 0 Celsius degrees. Okay, but for every Celsius degrees, the ohm value will increase by 0.38. Okay, this is a rate. Okay, so, uh, so in this example, you see if I'm, I'm measuring the two thinner wires over here, then I'm getting about 110.8. So let's, let's do some can, calculation here. 110, uh, 110.8 ohm. So that is 10.8 on on top of the 100 ohms, right? So the rate is 0.38. So that that's we give you 28.4 degrees on top. So that basically means uh, that this number makes very good sense with the room temperature that you have. So so if you cool down your EC completely and you let it sit there and then you measure the resistance, you should be able to get about 110 ohm. So as a rule of thumb, again, I don't look for this exact number here, but I will look for something close to 110. So it's depending on the temperature in your in your lab, it may range something like 109, 108, something like that, until maybe probably 110, 112, or something like that. Okay. So those are the two simple measurements that you can 
uh, perform easily with your multimeter to confirm your heater and sensor whether they're working or not. All right. So I hope you enjoy this this quick video. And if you have any question, please let me know in the comment below. Uh, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay. Thank thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.